Hey folks, Buds here. I just thought I'd show you some of my timepiece related uh, bits and pieces that I've made. I went through a phase of making some um, rally timers a while ago and uh, had some success with them. So this is the first sort of one I've made. This is a bit rough around the edges this is to test a concept really of these clamps to see how well they held stopwatches in there and they do pretty well actually. Not bad. So you just stop watch your fur. This stopwatch is a bit, uh, bit temperamental. These are old stopwatches, old Smith's watches. Like most British made stuff, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So that's that one. This second one is a large piece. This is manufactured using two Russian split second stopwatches really cool piece this i really like this these are beasts this is about 60 mil across i think or 65 even so usual where to start the stop uh sorry the split chrono is this button Hopefully you can see that. To catch up with itself again. Is that one again? And brings that round. Stop, stop, and right hand one's reset. So that's a nice, really nice stopwatch. And inside they're absolutely lovely. The Russian made, but. Um, they're very well made. If you can find them on eBay, I think they're about 55, 60 quid. Probably a bit more now, actually. I think they're going up in price. I should have bought more when I had the chance. So that's that one. <clears throat> this one I'm uh, particularly proud of because uh, it's quite an intricate mechanism. So either stopwatch can be independently selected on or off. Stop, restart, stop, restart. Or if I want to set them off together, it's just a matter of pressing them both down at the same time. And obviously stop, and you can reset them both at the same time as well. <clears throat> so I mounted this old uh, Ingersoll pocket watch on there, which I think looks quite nice when it's on the stand. I put the leather backing on it, looks nice and vintage. So yeah, really chuffed with that one. This is a MIG clock. Bought this clock off eBay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bought this clock off eBay. These are fantastic. These are really cool clocks. These I think they you can probably pick these up for about ninety five hundred quid. There's a lot of uh, Ukrainian sellers selling them. And again, they do. It does various things. Stopwatches, countdown. And I designed and manufactured this aluminium frame for it because normally when you see these clocks on eBay, they've got sort of cheap, crappy perspex fr frame all flopping about in the breeze. So I wanted something a bit more secure. So I designed this. The clock fits in that way, obviously, and the pins there just hold it in at the back. And that's a nice, cool piece as well. So cheers guys, that's my little collection of, well, some of the stuff I've made. I've got a lot more stuff kicking about. You know how it is when you make stuff, it just uh, sort of collects. But uh, hope you enjoyed that little run through of those timers. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.